Hi, I'm Christine. Hi, I'm Alejandro. Hi, I'm Roji. Hi, I'm Laura. And, and this, this is the, the Dream of Seven Podcast. <laughs> I feel like just like this energy uh -huh. just reminds me of karaoke. So, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. so how yeah. do you guys feel like what do you guys feel like is your favorite song to sing at karaoke? Mm. I feel like I haven't been in karaoke in so long. Yeah. So like back in Texas, um, we used to go to like this K pop bars. Uh -huh. So oh, my yeah, cool. karaoke song would be by this K-pop band, Red Velvet. Mm -hmm. Russian Blue. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what a TikTok. Yeah. 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 That's cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, it's like anything like related to Benito. Like I love mm -hmm. this man. I literally have him tatted on my like upper like. Oh, oh. dedicated. I'm dedicated. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Uh, but it's like Titi me pregunto. No, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I like more of like an old song. So for me, it's like dancing with somebody with Whitney Houston. Mm. You know, can't keep hit the high parts, but yeah, yeah. I try. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like old school. Like, yeah. Everybody knows it. You know. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. knows it. Yeah, I feel like for me it's like this Brazilian song that we mm -hmm. usually sing all the time, like at the end of every single party, like back yeah. to like in my state. So it would be like Bacha mm -hmm. It's also like very, very old school, but it's yeah. really fun. Oh, because the point just, going, just yeah. scream your heart out, it's great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I know. So cute. No, yeah, yeah, I need to show you guys. What, yeah, what is it about? What's the song about? Honestly, I, it's pretty much just about this guy that's really sad and he's in like in a, in a nightclub. Yeah. yeah. And he's just like telling the story like to the guard at the bar mm -hmm. and being like, oh no, the nightclub is closing down and I don't have a nurse to go. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And and that, it turns you up. <laughs> no, it's just like the energy of it, like everybody yeah. like sing, knowing how to sing. Ah, that's so yeah, good. Yeah, that's the part yeah. of yeah. That's the first oh, okay. uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Ooh. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for answering that question. I'm just wondering that another like. Podcast and everything. Mm -hmm. How did you guys get to know about the fellowship? How was it? Ooh. So I think for me, um, I was in this online group called mm -hmm. Undocu Professionals, where the moderator would post mm -hmm. yeah job that. opportunities yeah. for like undocumented people. Mm -hmm. And then I saw about the program, like fellowship, and then I met, met the requirements. Mm -hmm. And also, like this would be my first um, step. To like serving undocumented right. communities yeah. or like working with nonprofits, so right. Right. I just applied for it. Yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. overthink, so that's how I found out about it. Oh, um, that's yeah. so awesome! Yeah, I feel like that's so cool because I feel like I just found out about it because uh, the place that I would work at, at a community college, uh -huh. and she just told me about the opportunity, and I was just like, she's just telling me that, like for telling, like there's no <laughs> way that I could actually get in. Right. So then I was just like, ah, oh, that sounds really cool, but I don't know. And then I saw it again in like a. Thing that I was looking like for transferring uh, in San Jose State, they just had it there too. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. I saw it twice in like completely different <laughs> scenarios. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just like try to apply and see if it works out. Mm -hmm. and yeah. That's great yeah. though. Because um, my sister, she was actually a previous fellow. So she's, she's the one who told me to apply. Um, but the first time around, I didn't get in. Because I was away for school and oh, I wasn't really. You applied twice? Yeah, I did apply twice actually. Mm -hmm. First time, they didn't really get it. But mm -hmm. the second time, I'm glad I did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I feel like that's so important too because I feel like so many people like they might apply like once they're like, okay, I'm never getting again. And they uh, never try it. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like right. you just like do it like one more time. Yeah. Just keep know? doing it. Just keep doing it. Yeah. 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 Honestly, I'm so glad that I made the effort to apply and mm -hmm. I got through the interview process and now I'm here. Me too. Yeah. I know, yeah, and then I feel like we ended up both being the same group interview, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was actually yeah. really fun because we were like lifting each other up through, like, during oh, the groups. Yeah, so oh, I feel yeah. like it was a really nice process. Yeah. But I, I was just wondering then, like, because I don't know that much about you guys' interviews. So, like, how, how was that like? How was that like for y'all? Like, I think for me, it was, it was really comfortable and fun. Like, mm -hmm. at the group interview, you know how, like, we had to, like, do, like, certain things, certain activities. And it didn't feel like overwhelming mm -hmm. in the sense that like, you know, have you gone to like done different interview, interviews, yeah. there's like a panel asking you like very like right. hard questions, right, right. Yeah. It, but it felt like very like natural, natural. natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me it's the opposite because I was really nervous in the group interview, but I was mm -hmm. very calm and like I was very like, oh, it's very conversational in my mm -hmm. individual. Because I feel like I've already talked to everybody else in the group, so it made, um, they made me very comfortable and like express myself more. Yeah. So it was like it was a really great experience for me in the 
for the individual. Individual. Yeah. Individual. Yeah. Oh, cool. I think I tried my dub. What's it called? Individual interview. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like. Oh, what's it called? You know, Val, like, uh -huh, yeah. uh, Maritza were the two people that interviewed me. Uh -huh. And it was, like, very, like, like heart-wrenching. Or, like, mm. not heart-wrenching, but, like, th there's something, yeah, like, so right. beautiful about, like, people, that, like, sharing. Or, like, there's something so beautiful about not having to explain yourself. Yes. yes. And, like, they just knew, right? Like, yeah. everything yeah. I was saying, like, they just got it. Like, yup, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. 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 So, like, yeah. it was just clicking to a point where, like, I never felt it mm -hmm. to that extent. And yeah, it, 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 this just made it so comfortable for me to be more in the world. I really love that like comment that you made about community. Because yeah. I feel like having that like special mm -hmm. place that, like makes you feel comfortable and like mm -hmm. in an environment where you don't have to explain yourself. Right. Makes it easier to like, at least for myself to like develop personally and like professionally. Mm -hmm. so, like, True. How has that been for y'all? Yeah, I think tying back to the community aspect, being in this fellowship in 2023 taught me that you need to keep your community closer and your loved ones closer yeah. and just getting to know y'all in like a personal level like we hang out after the seminar, yeah. Friday True. workshops, like lunch, <laughs> trying out different places uh -huh. and also like doing the volunteer citizenship workshops and just yeah. finding passion through like helping people being like and learning from y'all your experiences like, you, you know professional or personal because I really believe like all 19 of you have taught me something and that's really special for me so I think yeah Oh, that's yeah. I love that. Oh, I, yeah, I love that too because I, I feel like the same way because I feel like I've, I've grown so much just from hearing from all of y'all and just mm -hmm. from your, all your experiences. Even like learning about like your host organizations and what you guys have been doing there, I just yeah. can know a little bit about, okay, they've been doing this and like get a little bit of pieces of what you guys are learning yeah. and yeah. go from there. Like I feel like even like for my host organization, which is LGBT Asylum Project, mm -hmm. I've been even though it's a uh, like legal organization, mm -hmm. I've learned so much not about legal stuff. Yeah, you know? right, yeah, yeah. I've learned around like communications and public relations and how to like write grants and like each organization is different, mm -hmm. but it just gives you like so much for you to go off of and like whenever you like okay like what am I gonna do even like once the fellowship is over? Right, you know yeah, exactly. it just gives you so much and. Um, even like during the seminars. Yeah, yeah. The seminars. You know. Yeah, I think the seminar kind of supplements what we're learning in our host, host organization. That's true. Yeah. You know, it's just like we're learning new skills, but then we go out to Friday with everyone. They give you more like, oh, this is how you strengthen that skill, mm -hmm. which is very valuable for us. I think for me anyway. And I know everyone's have the same experience yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I like. I look forward to like Fridays and like yeah. the seminar, like going there, learning more. Because mm -hmm. I, I remember like vividly when we had a seminar about like self advocacy, yeah. like yes. setting work boundaries. Yeah. Yes. I feel like that that clicked. I was like, yep, I'm gonna eat that. Yeah. So yeah. I had to uh, like that made me more self aware about like my relationship with work. Yes. yes. And like you know, like especially as immigrants, like you feel like yeah. you need to do more and more. Yeah, like, like you feel like you're exploiting yourself or like letting yeah. other people take advantage of you. Yeah. I'm not saying that like, that's the experience I had in my yeah. host side or a host organization, but like I definitely like felt more empowered to like set those mm -hmm. boundaries for yeah. myself as well, and not so much oh. just for my work. Quiet Coyote. Shout out to Val for Quiet Coyote. Well, oh, and now, now we're going to talk about a little bit of a game. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Game time. Yeah. Which is called Quiet Coyote. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So Shout for this out. game, we're just going to answer a couple questions. So if you can get the questions right here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so Thank you much. Me. Shout Thank out. Thank you. Yes. yes. So this game is basically to know how well do you guys know about the process to applicate, okay. to apply right now. Okay. 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 So basically, what you need to do, you need to raise your hand and say your name, and whoever does that first can answer the question. Okay. okay. Need to move. And then the winner actually okay. is gonna get a prize. Okay. okay. So I'm trying to understand like how well do you guys remember the What's the, the application process like? All right. Mm, it's a surprise. Okay. okay. Actually, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Are you gonna play with us or? Oh, since both. No, I'm just a person. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So it's us three. All right. You all. Okay. So, the first question is, what is the time commitment like? Ale! Oh, oh, no one's going to see my name! Loser! Loser. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> uh, so, time commitment. For the host organizations, you have to do 16 hours. Uh -huh. And then for uh, the seminar, it's 4 hours. Okay. So, in total, it's 20 hours part-time. Awesome! Oh, okay. Okay. 